Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Nabia Zulfkar. And I'm Pankaj Rapuru. Today is Wednesday, October 20th, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B day. Tomorrow is an A day with extended LS1. Varsity Field Hockey has their second district game away tonight at 7 at South Lakes. It's Digital Citizenship Week. Today's digital citizenship topic is responsible decision making. Your digital footprint is important because it affects your digital reputation which is what people think about you based on what they see online, social media, public information, photos, etc. This can be difficult to manage because it is not totally in your control. Even things that you delete or remove can still have been captured in a screenshot, downloaded, or saved by others. It also includes things that others may have posted about you or that you're tagged in. Today's daily question is, what are my responsibilities when participating online? From basic software issues to major physical damage, Chantilly's IT professionals are able to handle anything coming their way. Let's see how they do it. Um, our main job here is to support um, curriculum and instruction through technology. We support all the peripherals that the teachers use in the classroom, and cameras, projectors, printers, all those things, as well as all the laptops and devices that students use. We give every student a laptop in addition to supporting a bunch of labs around the school. Um, I got into the IT field through teaching, basically. Um, I was a gamer in high school. I spent a lot of time building computers, fixing computers, installing software, and I think that kind of was my foot in the door. I was a uh, computer solutions teacher at Rocky Run Middle School, and I worked in a computer lab for about eight 10 years. I became a teacher for a short while and then really liked the IT side of things and decided to switch. Some of the problems that we see when we come in, we just have to do some basic troubleshooting. A lot of times, most things can be solved with a restart of the computer. A lot of it is rinse and repeat. We'll do some deep searching on Google or talk to colleagues who have experienced the same issue. If there's some kind of hardware break, we communicate with other IT groups around the county to make sure those things can get fixed. One thing we find is that it's very common for students to leave their computers logged in just in kind of a sleep or hibernate mode for many days or even weeks at a time. Um, you know, we can't say it enough, just make sure you're restarting your computer. We'll reset the kernel, it'll reset the memory on the computer, it'll kind of flush out some of those problems that develop and kind of get worse over time. You know, when you first have a problem with your computer, the main thing to do is just restart. A lot of times we're in the middle of class and we're doing that, we don't really want to restart because um, it takes so much time, but a lot of times that'll fix a problem. Uh, making sure you're just careful with your laptop. A lot of the problems we see are just physical damage because it's in a backpack and it's just carelessly put down on the ground where someone can step on it or it's put down a little bit too hard. With their ability to solve so many problems, chargers can rest easy knowing their tech is in safe hands. This has been Kareem Sali and John Garrison for the Nightly News. Now back to you. 
Thank you, Jack and Cream. If we ever encounter issues like that, now we know who to call. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Nabia Zolfkar. And Pankaj Rapuru reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.